Now at 5.30, finally laid to rest, a long-lost war hero is buried with full military honors thanks in part to a Philadelphia man. Major Don Young went missing during World War II. And today he was buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo talked to the Philadelphia man who discovered Young's remains a half a century after he died. This, this, and this are from the swamp. Alfred Hagen wasn't yet born when this U.S. Army Corps B-25 bomber plane went missing in Papua New Guinea during World War II more than 75 years ago. They were designed to bomb, in a, like a European theater, to bomb cities or military targets. Hagen, a contractor known for building offices in the Philadelphia area, spends his time searching around the world for missing servicemen. The search for this bomber was personal for Hagen because the pilot, Major Bill Ben, is Hagen's great uncle. Several members of my own family went missing in the Second World War. So the pain of, of not knowing what happened to a loved one has stayed with me. The plane crashed into the mountainside of Papua New Guinea in January 1943. It would be in here somewhere. This video shows Hagen searching for the plane's wreckage. Hagen never found his great uncle's remains, but in 1998, he did find the plane. He also discovered the remains of a co-pilot on board, Major Don Young. This was his dog tag. We just found it. It's Don C. Young. He was the major. But Major Young's remains were not confirmed until recent DNA testing. Now, more than 75 years since the deadly plane crash, Young was buried Tuesday at Arlington National Cemetery with full military honors. Hagen says it was his honor to be there with Young's family. There's just a special emptiness in, in mothers and fathers and siblings and children that stay behind and never know an answer. It's not that they think of it 24 hours a day, but there's, there's a hole in their lives. But this time, it was grieving with a sense of closure. And no one knows exactly why the plane crashed. Hagen thinks it was during a severe thunderstorm. In the SAT Center, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News.